We are continuing to follow the descent of Roseanne Barr. She's apparently a comedian, they tell me, into what appears to be quite literally madness, a state of psychosis. She spoke at this Charlie Kirk event over the weekend. Now, I went back and forth as to include many clips from this event in today's show or not, and I'm not including many clips from this event. But Charlie Kirk from Turning Point USA had an event. Uh, Patrick Bet David, whose program I, I appeared on, he spoke there. It's a whacked out event, completely whacked. And Roseanne Barr, she it's she seems impaired. You know, it's always a little bit fraught to speculate. Is this alcohol? Is this drugs? Is this uh, the mixing of psychiatric drugs with some kind of um, uh, uh, recreational substance? We just don't know. But she seems extraordinarily impaired. And the more she spoke, the quieter the crowd got. You'll hear that her earlier in this clip, we're going to look at about 70 seconds here at the start of this clip. The crowd seems almost into it as she continues. The crowd gets quieter and quieter. And you'll notice that the, you can almost hear a pin drop in the room as she's at the end of these mad woman rantings. Listen to this. Why a bunch of losers that never know how to get a job. I don't care about them. If we don't stop these horrible communists, do you hear me? I'm asking you to hear me. Yeah. Remember, she's a comedian. Stalinist. Oh boy. With a huge helping of Nazi fascists thrown in. Oh boy. These are communist Nazi fascists. Quite an quite an overlap, huh? Plus one the caliphate. Now they're quiet. To replace every Christian democracy on earth now. Do you know that? <laughs> really just an electric atmosphere in there for comedian Roseanne Barr. So we've talked about Roseanne before. Um, every time we do, people write in and say, David, she, she has very serious mental illness. She's uh, it's been mentioned before. Her messages really shouldn't be covered, etc. You know, the difficult position we're in is without diagnosing Roseanne Barr with anything. We are not the ones who are putting her in front of ravenous, politicized audiences and saying, listen to what Roseanne is saying. We are covering the fact that these right wing groups are inviting her to speak and people are listening, at least to some degree, although they were pretty dead silent by the end of this speech. For me, I would much rather Roseanne Barr have no place here whatsoever in the political discourse because she has nothing sane to say. But to say I should ignore Roseanne Barr because she's obviously mentally ill, even though it is others who are saying, here's someone who's going to speak to you about politics and the state of play in the United States. What I'm coming to you and saying is the right thinks she has something important to say. Conventions are booking her to speak to audiences. And if indeed these are the rantings of someone suffering from severe mental illness, the irresponsible thing would be to put her in front of crowds and say she's going to tell you the way things should be. OK, uh, that's really the scary thing. And, you know, comedian, there should really be quotes around the term comedian when it comes to Roseanne. But she's also certainly not a political analyst, that's for sure. And unfortunately, she has really gone off the deep end figuratively. Now, uh, of course, if we are dealing with serious mental illness here, that's really an issue of the mental health system, the healthcare system. We've talked about that. There is a lot of undiagnosed mental illness going on around out there. There's also a lot of diagnosed but untreated mental 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 illness happening. Uh, whatever the case may be, I hope Roseanne is getting whatever treatment she needs. If it's zero, then great. She should get no treatment and maybe the impairment that's apparent here is due to some other kind of recreational substances. This is not normal. And the right wing crowds that love hearing from her should recognize this is not someone equipped or in a state 
to be providing a cogent political analysis. Unfortunately, if you only allowed people who are equipped to provide cogent political analysis to speak at right wing conferences, they would be pretty damn short conferences that I can tell you. 30 million trees are destroyed every year for toilet paper in the US alone. So toilet paper is a big contributor to deforestation and climate change. Our sponsor, Real Paper, makes toilet paper from bamboo. Bamboo plants keep growing, which means no deforestation. Bamboo also absorbs five times as much carbon from the atmosphere as pine trees. And bamboo toilet paper is stronger than regular toilet paper and even softer. So bamboo toilet paper is all around a win for you and for the environment. It's time to move on from that toilet paper from trees that you're using at home. When you use real paper, it doesn't feel like you're sacrificing anything. It's soft and fluffy and they'll ship it to your door in plastic free packaging on a schedule. Super easy. With every box of real paper you buy, they are funding reforestation efforts across the country through their partnership with One Tree Planted. So unlike the toilet paper that cuts down trees, Real is helping to actively plant them. Go to realpaper.com slash Pacman and use code Pacman for 30% off your first order and free shipping. The link is down below.